Welcome to this Maths Made Easy video on differentiation from first principles. So to start with, let's take a look here at finding derivatives from first principles. Now, what we'll do here first is just give the result and then we'll go on to explain that result. So to differentiate from first principles, we use the following formula. So we use f prime of x is equal to the limit as h tends to zero of the following expression here. So this is f of x plus h minus f of x. And this is all over h here. Okay. Now this result here looks quite intimidating. However, it's quite easy to understand. To understand this, think about how we describe the gradient between two points. So in that case, we'd write f prime of x as dy by dx. And remember, dy by dx is just simply the change in y divided by the change in x. So that's the change in y divided by the change in x. Okay. Now, if we just think about this for a moment, we can describe a change in y as my numerator here, f of x plus h minus f of x. Okay. And the change in x is also here going to be x plus h minus x. So we don't actually denote it here in the, the denominator here, but that is just simply going to be, and if we denote this in a different colour here, let's do it in red. So this, well, that gives me the numerator then, f of x plus h minus f of x, that's our numerator here, that's my change in y. And this is all divided by the change in x, which is x plus h minus x there. Okay, and clear that simplifies there to give us this result here inside the bracket. So that's what we have here for our change in y divided by our change in x. And we can visualize this quite nicely using this sketch here. So this is for y equals x squared. So this is for y equals x squared here. And what we've done here is we've introduced four cards. And these each indicate the gradient between two points on the graph. Okay. And what we can see here is as we reduce the value of h, as we get closer and closer to zero, we get closer and closer there to f prime of x. Okay. So just to make it clear here what's actually happening, if we go back to our original pen colour. Well, when h is two, that gives us this first green line here. Okay. So that's the first green line there, that's h equals 2. And what that gives us is f prime of x equals 4. Okay, so that's when h equals 2. Now, this light blue line here is when h equals 1. So when h equals 1, what we obtain here is f prime of x is equal to 3. Okay, this dark blue line here, that's when h equals 0.5. And here we obtain for f prime of x, 2.5, okay? And finally, this very, very tiny purple line here at the bottom is when h equals 0.1. And like we can see, as we're getting closer and closer here to h tending to zero, as we're getting closer and closer to zero, our gradient's getting closer and closer to f prime of x, the required value here. So in that case, f prime of x simply gives us 2.1 there, okay? So like we said, don't be intimi intimidated by this result here for finding derivatives from first principles. Remember, it's just simply the change in y divided by the change in x there. Okay. So that gives us everything we need there to find the derivatives from first principles. And that concludes this Maths Made Easy video on differentiation from first principles.